What is classed as an emergency? An emergency is a situation that poses an immediate risk to health, life, property or environment. Most emergencies require urgent intervention to prevent the situation getting worse. An unexpected and usually dangerous situation calls for immediate action. Types of emergencies. The following is a list of some emergencies that you may potentially experience. It doesn't include major local area events such as blizzards or chemical spills from lorries. Fire. Lost child or vulnerable family member, for example with dementia. Drowning. Collapse, for example an epileptic fit, an overdose, a stroke or a heart attack. Injury, for example a knife wound. Intruder or danger from a person meaning harm. Gas leak. Consideration of your own safety first. Although it's natural to want to rush to the emergency, it's essential that you consider your own safety first. Is there anything at the scene that might cause you harm? For example, sharp or dangerous items, knives, guns, needles, blood, chemicals. If there's a fire, you must get out immediately. If someone is drowning, you must not jump in after them. Is the person with you potentially dangerous? What do you do next? After ensuring your own safety, call 999 if there's a danger to life or risk of injury being caused, such as a serious road accident, an assault, a person has collapsed, a person is drowning, or there's a fire. There is a crime in progress, such as a robbery, burglary, or theft, and the offender is still on the scene or has only just left the area. The immediate attendance of a police officer, fire brigade, or ambulance is necessary such as where someone is acting suspiciously and obviously about to commit a crime, someone is injured, there is a fire or there's a gas leak. A coast guard is needed, such as when someone has drifted out to sea or been blown into the sea. Where mountain rescue is needed because someone is in danger or lost in rural areas, including mountains, and moorlands. How to make an emergency call. First, take a deep breath to calm down a little. Call 999 and tell the operator there's an emergency. Say your name and where you are, the exact address ideally if you know it. Explain what happened and how many people are hurt. The operator will need all the information you can provide, so give as many details as you can. Follow all of the operator's instructions carefully. Stay on the line until the operator says it's okay to hang up. If the scene is safe and you're sure someone has called 999 or you called it yourself, stay with the person who was injured and wait for help to arrive. Don't move someone who could have a neck or other bone injury, for instance from a fall. Moving someone who has that sort of injury can make it much worse. Try to stay calm. You can contact emergency services via text message if you're deaf, hearing impaired or have a speech impediment. Did you know? Did you know that you can call 999 or 112 from a telephone box even if you have no money? Also, mobile phones that have run out of credit. If you have no SIM card or are locked, you can still use your phone to make emergency calls. 
You can even make an emergency call if the phone has no reception in that area, but other networks do have reception. Essential information for the 999 operator. Is the patient breathing? What address are you calling from? What number are you calling from? So they can call you back if you get cut off. What is the reason for your call? What information is it important for you to know? Your parent or carer's full name and place of work. Your full address, including city and postcode. Children should memorize at least one parent's mobile phone number. Someone who could look after you, for example, a grandparent and their contact details. If you or a family member has allergies. If you or a family member has medical conditions and any medicines that are taken, especially emergency medication like an EpiPen, an inhaler or essential tablets. Other things you may be able to do in an emergency. If you've had some training, you may be able to use some of the following in an emergency. First aid. You may be able to administer an EpiPen. CPR. A defibrillator. Life-saving equipment. A drowning ring or belt, for example. Danger of hoax calls. It's always better to make a genuine 999 call than to risk a potentially dangerous situation getting worse. No one will be angry if it turns out not to be an emergency. This is very different to making a hoax call. A hoax call is deliberately calling out an emergency service as a joke. This is so dangerous. For example, a fire engine called out for a hoax may mean that those genuinely needing help are left longer in danger. Not only does this cost thousands of wasted pounds, but it could result in a death elsewhere. Some other types of emergency and how you might act. Injuries and illness. Keep calm and keep a list of numbers by the phone so that you can call a trusted neighbor or relative. If you use an inhaler or other medicine, make sure someone knows where to find it in a hurry. Intruders. If you think you have an intruder, only you can decide how to deal with the situation. You may respond differently if you are alone in the house or if there are other people there. You could make a noise and hope it puts an intruder off or keep quiet and hope they don't come into your room. You could keep a phone in your bedroom so you can raise the alarm. This may also make you feel safer. Do not challenge an intruder. If they ask for money or property, give it to them without challenge. Goods can be replaced. You can't. Bogus callers. If you're home alone, you can choose not to answer the door. Never let anyone in while you're home alone. If you are uncertain, make sure you call a neighbor or relative who can get to you quickly. Always put the chain on before answering the door. Never leave the door open while you go fetch somebody. Ask for identification, but still refuse entry if you're unsure. Getting lost. Before a trip, agree a place that you will meet up if you get lost from your group. Carry a mobile phone and make sure that it is charged and has credit on. Know your memorable information. Go to a safe place such as a shop, police station or school, etc. 
and ask for help. If you are lost or in trouble in a remote, rural place, by dialing 999, the operator can contact Mountain Rescue. General tips. While it's great to know what to do in an emergency, it's much less stressful to know that you have prevented one from happening. Develop a safe frame of mind from an early age and learn the following. Where to turn off the water. How to shut all doors and turn switches off before going out or to bed. Know where batteries and torches are kept. Never leave a bath full of water when you've finished using it. Know where to find basic first aid equipment. Check smoke alarms and locks on a regular basis. Know where all door and window keys are kept and ensure they're not removed. Know how to check the fuse box. Remember, prevention is better than cure. Keep safe.